Hello and thanks for watching. Over the next few minutes, I'll walk you through how to use my acquisition due diligence checklist tool. Now this tool is fairly intuitive. Uh, it doesn't really need a video, but I thought I'd put one together just in case uh, that you have any questions, really more about the data validation list than anything. But what we have here is a due diligence checklist consisting of 72 pre-filled due diligence items that you might have in a typical real estate acquisition transaction. Uh, those 72 tasks are broken up across six sections, underwriting, negotiation, property condition, environmental, legal, entitlement and insurance, and lease review. Uh, at the very top here, you have an investment overview, overview section where you'll enter investment name, address, and then property type. Uh, we have a drop down menu here as well as drop down menus under the due diligence team. So here's where you'll enter uh, the name of the team member uh, or the team members that are involved in the transaction. So for instance, you might have an, uh, an, a director of acquisitions, you might have an acquisitions analyst, maybe an acquisitions associate, a closing specialist, maybe you have a, uh, an attorney on, on the team who is helping with these items. And that's what's going to happen here. Now, these are lists, data validation lists that are dynamic to changes out here to the right. And so here we change the title. So for instance, pre-filled acquisition manager, acquisition analyst, and then I just put other team member, and you might change this, say, to a closing director. Oops. And then maybe you just have one, and it's uh, Pam Francis. And so as, as you come out here to the left, you'll see it now says closing director, and you can use the drop down menu to select Pam Francis. Uh, otherwise, the data validation lists include property type, so you could add, say, self-storage. You just simply add it to the bottom of the list, and I've built this such that it's dynamic to any additional items added to the end of the list. So we come here, and you'll see now self-storage appears in the list. Now, in terms of following uh, and tracking the progress of each of the line items, I have this section here, progress to completion, and it automatically, using a real rudimentary weighted average formula, it tracks the progress uh, to 100% complete of all 72 uh, line items. And that does it by, here you have a status item, and, and it's, again, a drop-down menu, you can choose not applicable. This is an item that is, doesn't apply to this deal. You can change it to in process or to complete, you can assign a task to a member of your team. So maybe assign this to Jose Sombrano. And then you can make a note out here to the right. Maybe we'll say um, signed and returned, right? And now 1.4% of our entire due diligence is done. And that item, the NDA has been signed. And that really is it. Uh, as you, you know, continue to work through your due diligence items, this is going to, uh, oh, the one thing I should, I should point out here is you have these colors and they adjust based on whether it's in process, completed, or not started. And not applicable, it turns it white. And that way you can just quickly visualize as you scroll through how well you're doing towards your progress. And with that, uh, that's our due diligence checklist for acquisition transactions. Let me know if you have any questions on this. Otherwise, uh, thanks for your time.